He's a powerful Russian oligarch with close ties to Vladimir Putin. Today, the FBI raided properties in D.C. and Manhattan linked to the billionaire. His name? Oleg Der Deripaska. The name may sound familiar because for years now, he's been under U.S. sanctions for Russian interference in the 2016 election. These are images of federal agents swarming a mansion this morning in one of Washington's wealthiest suburbs. And here they are outside a townhouse linked to Deripaska in New York City's Greenwich Village. Deripaska came under scrutiny during special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation for his business dealings with former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort. NBC News investigative correspondent Tom Winter has been digging into why the feds raided Deripaska's properties. Shep, good evening. Those searches taking place very much out in the open today and in the sunshine of two prominent properties in D.C. and in New York. What we don't know is what's going on in the shadows and behind the scenes with the federal investigation being led uh, by authorities here in New York. They are not commenting tonight on who the subject of this investigation is, who might be the target, and what this whole thing is about. We do know from Deripaska's spokesperson that they say, and they're asserting, that this investigation has to do with something tied to U.S. sanctions. Deripaska has sued and tried to get off the sanctions list ever since he was put on it as a result of allegations of his involvement in 2016 Russian uh, interference in the election, as well as his ties to Vladimir Putin, who he's believed to be quite close to. Deripaska also has ties to Paul Manafort. The two of them uh, involved in a business venture uh, dating back over uh, 10 to 15 years. They've known each other for a long time, and the emails that came out around the time of the Mueller investigation seem to indicate that Manafort may have actually given Deripaska private briefings on what was going on in the 2016 election. Deripaska's never been charged with a crime, has always said that he's done nothing wrong. Paul Manafort, as we know, pleaded guilty to a host of charges, but has since been pardoned. Shep. Tom Winter, thank you.